Hi, I'm Kristen Omdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for getting started making one of the projects from my brand new book, 24 Crochet Hats, Interesting Techniques and Inclusive Sizing for Men, Women, Children, and Babies. Let's get started. This is the Julian Honeycomb Cable Hat. This is a beautifully textured hat that looks great on anyone and is sized for toddlers, women, and men. The pattern is worked in the round from the top down in an easy to memorize stitch pattern. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for getting started with this gorgeous stitch pattern. You will need two balls of Be So Baby yarn, which is my number three DK weight, 100% milk fiber yarn, and you'll need a size G7 or 4.5 millimeter crochet hook or whichever size is needed to obtain gauge. And just so you know, we are doubling the yarn throughout the entire project. So you'll be holding two strands at the same time. This hat was made in colorway turquoise in Be So Baby yarn. This is colorway robin egg blue. And I thought it would be fun to show you the sample today working two different colors together for a different look. In this hat I held two strands of turquoise together for the same color and now in the sample today I'm going to hold aquamarine and mint together just to show you another option. We start by tying our yarn to our crochet hook. You can use a square knot, a slip knot, which, whichever works best for you. And round one begins with a chain four. And we're going to work 11 double crochets in the fourth chain from your hook. That means that the first three that we're skipping are counted as our first double crochet. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the chain or stitch specified, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. That's a double crochet. You want to do a total of 11 double crochets in this same chain and then we'll slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join, which will give us the equivalent of a double crochet, and the end of round one has 12 stitches. Round two begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and a front post double crochet around the first stitch. Front post double crochet is yarn over your hook, Insert your hook from front to back to front around the post of the stitch specified. This is the chain three that counted as a double crochet in the previous round. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Okay, our repeat for this round is double crochet in the next double crochet, and then front post double crochet around that same stitch. And you want to repeat that all the way around. For rounds three, four, five, and six, you're only going to be using a combination of double crochet and front post double crochet. So I've shown you how to do all of the stitches you're going to need for that. The next thing I wanted to point out is how to read round four in the pattern because if you're not used to reading patterns that are sized, there is a little bit of information in round four that may look confusing. And even if you have read patterns that have sizing, um, there's also another component that could be confusing. So round four starts with chain three, then it's zero, one, or two double crochets in the same stitch. What does that mean? It means depending on whichever size you're making, whether you're making the small, the medium, or the large, you will work one, zero, one, or two double crochets in the same first stitch of the pattern. Then uh, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet. Then we come to the asterisk and it says one, two, or three double crochets in the next stitch. What does that mean? That means if you're making the small, only do one. If you're doing the medium, do two. And if you're doing the large, put three double crochets in that stitch. Then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, and then there's one more stitch that you'll need to learn in order to make this pattern, and that is this stitch here, and it is a front post treble crochet two together, where we're working one leg of the stitch over here and one over here. So let me show you how to do that in the yarn now. So front post treble crochet 
two together is yarn over your hook twice. You want to work around the post of the previous post stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over twice and wrap your hook around the post of the next post stitch. So we're working bef in a stitch before where we're at and after where we're at at the same time. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We now have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook, and that's what pulls that stitch together. Isn't that cool? And that's the stitch that gives us this gorgeous honeycomb pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. And everything we talked about today is linked in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.